Frank Sheeran. I saying that right? Yeah, you said it right. Uh, under the contract, management can only fire a driver on very specific charges. So, you have a show up late? No. Do you have any moving violations? No. Do you drink on the job? No. Do you ever hit anybody? On a job? Yeah. I don't think so. All right, then. We don't have nothing to worry about. <laughs> That's Ray Romano as the attorney and Robert De Niro in The Irishman, which is, in fact, nominated for one of the five best motion pictures. This year's Golden Globe Awards, the nominees announced yesterday. And it will come your way, starring Ricky Gervais, January 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. Joe Pesci, also nominated. Not nominated, Robert De Niro, who I thought was great. Al Pacino, who I thought was great. And the best of the three, Bo Deedle. And with that said, what better way to welcome in the main man on Tuesday mornings right here on the Burning and Sid Show, Hero Cop, and more importantly now, tremendous actor, oh, tremendous. God. We're glad he's we're lucky he keeps coming on. The great Bo Deedle. Good morning, Bo. How are you, Hey, Bo. Hey, guys. What's happening? Well, there you felt is. badly. You were snubbed by the Golden Globes. We think you should be nominated for Best Supporting Actor. We really do. We're not kidding. Well, I'm telling you something. I've been getting some accolades from some heavy-duty actors. And uh, they, they're calling me up and they're telling me I did a great job. It's, it's, it's great to do something and get accolades, you know. And I tried hard and I tried to be who I was. And everybody's calling me up and says, Bo, you must really be a made guy. You act like a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna... know, if, you grow, if you grow up with Gotti and Scopo and all the guys, you learn little tricks here and there, you know. You're in a spot on Leo's yacht yet? Oh, no, 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 I'm not on Leo's yacht. I'm waiting to bring him up to Rayo's before Christmas. I got to see where I can throw him in there. He wants to come up there. No doubt. Who doesn't? But uh, look, you and Leo Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, Al Pacino, I mean, you're going to have a, 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 a footprint on the Hollywood Walk of Fame sometime soon, right? You know, the only thing I was a little upset, I reached out to Marty Scorsese because he's doing some uh, cowboy movie with DiCaprio. And I said, you know, I could freaking be an Indian, a cowboy. You know, I don't have to be typecast. I'm not, really? You know, I could be a gay Indian. I don't care. I'll, I'll yes, go. yes. <laughs> you could play a pro college professor, for God's sakes. Yeah, what's going on with these director crap? You know what pisses me off is we're, we're, we're going overboard now. It doesn't have to be black movie, white movie, right. Asian movie. It's the best director. Right. And if he's the best director, he's, he's from China or he's black or he's uh, Hispanic. The best is the best. I don't like Quentin Tarantino, but he's a great director. And that's the simple and simple part of it. I think Marty Scorsese is the greatest director because I've worked with him and I've never seen a director that directs a movie like Martin Scorsese. He should see everything. And that's what makes him one of the, if not the greatest director out there. So why does he have to be black, white, Asian? Now we've got to throw a woman in there because there's not enough of them? How about the best? Director, whether it be a woman, a man, an Asian, black, Hispanic, stop the bull crap. What about diversity? Uh, diversity, my butt. My <laughs> point is this. My point is this. If you're the great actor, people, other actors should vote for the, the best actor, best supporting actor. Other actors should watch the actor in action and vote for it. Directors should be voted in by other directors because they understand all aspects of directing, not the knucklehead on these TV shows. Oh, you're a woman. You should have been nominated. Oh, crap. I'm not so ready with this crap, all right? Stay woke. Agreed. Uh, we couldn't agree more. So, Bo, we're down to just a couple of weeks uh, living in a, if you want to call it this, a civil society here in New York. Literally, in about two weeks, they're going to open up the jail cells and let these these criminals run the streets like the purge, like the movie The Purge. We're just two weeks away from literally, as you've been saying, for months and months, to your yep. credit, Bo, the end of civilization as we know it. And I'm glad to see the murders are on the rise, and the big bird can't hide, uh, can't hide the homicide, and they're slowly creeping up. They are. And when January 1st comes, there's going to be a lot more murders, <laughs> and one's going to be on the street, and I want to shoot this governor, and I want to shoot this mayor. For the families that get killed by these cretins on the street who are carrying guns, and the poor cops are out there, they're not making arrests anymore, they're not getting involved, they're taking their heart and soul, then you get this moron from Brooklyn, 
that says that his captain told him to only lock up black and brown people. That guy's full of crap, and I'll tell him to his face. There's no such thing. No directive. Oh, you have to lock up black and his brother. He's looking for a lawsuit against the city because the city just that I think, last year $350 million on lawsuits because they don't defend the damn thing. All you got to do is take a lawsuit. You shoot at a cop, you wound a cop, and the other cop can shoot him back. They'll show you for sure. Them. Yeah, that's what happened with the uh, Central Park Five. As soon as de Blasio walked into office, he said, yeah, just pay him off. They would have lost those guys, it, were, it, those guys were robbing people in Central Park. Now they're freaking heroes. So in reality, just lay a lawsuit down on the city. Big Bird will pay. He will. Look at his wife. His wife is getting away with $1 billion. This creep has stolen from the city and it doesn't know what she did with it. And to your point about the murders arising, shootings arising, assaults by teenagers on ordinary working New Yorkers are skyrocketing right now. So we're, the, the disorder has begun. New York, the public safety crisis has already begun. It started. It's only going to get exponentially worse after January 1st. You know what? This city I love so much, and I'm so upset to see what's going on in the streets. And in reality, now you got the city council president doesn't want to talk to de Blasio because de Blasio is a friggin' moron. And he showed how many hours he worked in a month's time. He's a bum. He should just leave already. Take his wife. Go back to Cuba, you creep. With your wife. Get out of that city. Yeah. Get him out. Go to Newark. Uh, talking with the homeless people. Talking about leaving, uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago, Bo Deedle, uh Jimmy O'Neill left. I, I guess Dermot Shea is in charge. Now, I don't even know, but he left with a whisper. Not exactly. Exactly a lot of fanfare and glamour for former Commissioner Jimmy O'Neill on the way out, huh? Well, you want to know something? He showed that he had no ball bearing when he didn't support that kid over there in Staten Island who did nothing wrong. It was a terrible tragedy with the Gardner incident. He did nothing wrong. He says in his statement, oh, I would have done the same thing. Well, if you would have done the same thing, the kid didn't do nothing wrong. Show your ball bag. Set up for the king. Oh, big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, instead, what did he do? He sold out. He took the money, ran to California, and poor Pantaleo still looking for a job. You know who I really feel sorry for? Because I talk to cops every day. I feel sorry for these men and women on the street who want to do a good job, and they're not supported by this, this police department. And the only ones that are supported are the criminals that are out on the street. They have all the rights. And when this January 1st, when this... When they start releasing, yeah, Big Bird was right. We don't need Rikers Island. He's probably doing a deal with some uh, developers over there to build apartments over there. He probably has a side deal going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. you won't need Rikers Island because nobody's going to be in freaking jail. Everybody's going to be out of jail. And then they're going to know where you live. And if you're a complainant or a witness, they'll be standing out in front of your house with pitchforks and, 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 and torches looking to knock you out. Yeah, they're going to be standing in front of the person I sold my house to. To be quite you know, honest with you. You want to know what you're saying, Bernie? I hate to tell you, everybody is moving out of their city. This city is going to look like the movie The Warriors. Nice. The gangs will control the city. They'll laugh at cops. They'll throw next, they're throwing water now. I guarantee you you're going to see them throwing feces soon on the cops. Ugh. And what are they going to do then? They're just going to walk away again? Yeah, probably so. So what is the uh, one of the best times that Bernie and I ever had together in our 20 plus years now working together, going back to our days on I Miss in the early 2000s. And now this one for the last four years was the Bo Deedle Christmas Party at Sparks circa 2004. Is it, does that still happen? Is there still a big Bo Deedle Christmas Party every year? Well, we, we, we've tuned down. Business has slowed up a little bit. And what we do, we, we don't do that anymore. We have like a dinner. We used to have parties at Sparks. The last time we had our Christmas party, Trump was there. I had the Dell Vikings music group, Johnny Meister on the Brooklyn Bridge. Wow. And I used to own a piece of that uh, topless club, Tens, back in the 1990s. We used to have our party yeah. over there. Yeah. And I used to make the announcement at 8 o'clock. I used to say, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to, to stay, but there's going to be a little breast lactation coming out <laughs> around 7.30. Please yeah. enjoy yourselves. And remember your manners, guys. You have people you work with. So remember, you have to have manners, and that's the way it is. Uh, good times. Good times. Hey, Bo, listen, man, you're great. Hey, congratulations on your performance in The Irishman. And if we have anything to say, they're going to amend these Golden Globe nominations. It's not over yet. We're going to take care of it. We're going to try to take care of it for you. 
Well, you want to know something? I'm, I'm very happy to do your show every Tuesday. It's a place where I can speak out against uh, when things are wrong, and I'm happy to be on your show, and I hope we continue. And for the rest, and I, I'll be on, I'll be with you guys next Tuesday to kick off the end of the year. And I love you very much, and uh, just be careful. And everyone listening out there, just be careful when you're on the trains with these credence. Don't stay, don't stand near the rail, where the tracks are. Please, and always stare down. If somebody's looking at you, you look right back. Think in your mind where you're going to punch them in the face. And look <laughs> in their eyes, That's and right. Look in their eyes and pick a place where you're going to punch them in the face, and they get it. They get it. Yeah. Don't look away. Don't cower with these little punks. Good advice. Love be, it. Be ready. All right, Paul. We love you too, buddy. See you on next Tuesday. Great job as always today. Have a great week. We'll see you soon, pal. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll All right. right. A great boat right, deal. 1-800-848-WABC. 1-800-848-9222. We'll get to the Golden Globes. All of the movies and actors you know, and actresses. Said, yes. See you next Tuesday. I, I did say that. I know. I did say that. And, <laughs> and articles of impeachment. There are two, there may be three. There's a lot of Chazerai going on here. We got it all for you. Bernie and Seth.